Could you introduce yourself and your company? Uh, yeah, my name's Charlie Lamb, um, Sales Director for Windhager UK, and we are a um, manufacturer of biomass heating boilers. Could you give us a little bit more of a detailed explanation about uh, what type of boiler you offer and the unique features? Uh, Windhager, we're a producer of um, domestic and commercial heating units, so we can go from small-scale pellet boilers in a domestic property all the way up to a large commercial property. Comfort levels tend to be under 200 kilowatts in the U8 in the UK, um, and that comfort level at that, l at that output would be three boilers, a cascade system of three boilers, right down to a single boiler in a domestic um, dwelling place of 12 kilowatts. And what's the, the loading system for the boilers? It can be either fully automatic from a hopper, vacuum fed into the boiler, a la our larger output boilers behind us, or on the smaller domestic boilers, one can just weekly or every four or five days pour bags into the boiler um, to give you a fully automatic heating system, delivering hot water comfort and heating into the property. And so do you offer a feedstock as well? We don't offer the feedstock, it's a product, but we do actually work with feedstock manufacturers, with fuel suppliers. Um, we are very reliant on the fuel supply. Quality fuel means less ash, means less service, means more efficiency. And uh, could you just talk us through who your sort of target market is? Um, at the moment, we're very busy in the UK in the commercial sector up to this 200 kilowatts output because there are substantial incentives under the renewable heat incentive for high carbon fuels, fossil fueled heated buildings to change to low carbon to carbon neutral such as biomass. So at the moment we're dealing with nursing homes, with farming communities, rural communities, um, all sorts of projects going on at the moment right down to individual homes, again, in rural areas particularly, but anyone trying to um, reduce their carbon footprint and reduce the cost of their heating. And so where do you see the company going in the next five years? In the next five years, we, we see substantial growth, um, particularly in the larger um, output boilers at the moment, but over the next 12 months to two years with the introduction of the domestic RHI, um, the opportunities are substantial and we see, yes, that heat is a basic human requirement, particularly in Northern Europe, in the UK. Um, so we see substantial growth opportunities over the next three to five years, um, which we're here to exploit. And uh, so what, what does the company need now? What the company needs now is good, solid government advice um, and, and the incentives um, to be announced and maintained in the short term to give the industry the kickstart that it needs. Um, there is a willingness, there is a requirement out there because of high fossil fuel costs um, and the public, whether they be domestic or commercial, are all looking a to reduce their fuel bills but also to be the environmental um, or take the environmental route and, and reduce their carbon footprints. And so if we wanted one of your boilers, where would we be able to get a hold of it? Um, we supply through the main merchant networks in the UK, so your standard Travis's, your standard Plum Centres, PTS, all of the major outlets, but hopefully education through good quality installers. It's standard heating requirement. Um, pellet boilers were and have been on the market for years and years. You know, 20, 30 years ago, a pellet boiler was a commonplace um, appliance in the UK but then they were fed by coal, coal pellets. Now it's the same principle but taken to a new fuel source, clean, carbon neutral wood pellets. And would we be able to buy from you directly as well? We don't deal direct, no, we tend to deal through the merchant network um, because that is the way the UK operates. Thank you very much. My pleasure, thank you.